Hey, what is up all you beautiful people? We're gonna be playing a video about my two favorite secrets to sell just about anybody. I'm telling you, this game, this alpha right now is gonna completely revolutionize the way you do sales. Matter of fact, it's gonna help you make a lot of money and close a lot of deals. Real quick, before I roll this clip, I wanna apologize for kind of like the video quality. Well, I'll explain it in a second, but let's roll that clip. All right, what is up all you alpha businessmen and businesswomen? I just learned something and it's about sales and it's about closing them deals. And yeah, right now I'm drinking a beer. I'm at a brewery, they're about to close. So I got about five minutes to say this. The way to, what I learned today about closing is actually not from myself. Somebody actually kind of taught me this. Somebody kind of mentored me about this. And it's two very, very important distinct tricks that really help you close a lot of deals besides like confidence and all and believe in your product. So this really applies to if you have a good product or service and it's sold before, it's not gonna just some magically get you sales. The trick is, the first trick is yes and. Your potential client is going to ask you a lot of questions about this product or service, especially if they're skeptical and they don't really know what it's about. So the really, the best way to instate trust and security and make them overall just like you and trust you and wanna pay for your shit is to provide a shit ton of value. The main reason why people don't buy your shit is because they don't value it. Think about it like this. A brand new iPhone, a new iPhone comes out every single year. Every single year is a new iPhone coming out and you see everybody rushing to buy the brand new thing. It's mostly like a mentality thing where people want to buy a new thing. Or you go to a bar, people have no problem dropping a hundred bucks on a bar tab rather than spending a hundred bucks on a course. It's because that mentality that they believe, they perceive the value of drinking a beer, drinking with the friends, hanging out, the entertainment, they perceive that value is much greater than the amount of money that they actually give for that beer. It's kind of just transaction, kind of makes sense. So the reason why people aren't buying your shit is because they don't value it enough. So if you're able to distinctly add a lot of value and it's very, very noticeable, people will buy your shit. Which is why I always say, if somebody's asking you a question, hey Blade, does this product have X, Y, Z? Yes, it does. And it has this amazing feature as well too. Always add more and more value. And it, it help it like sell itself. You know, whenever I have, like for example, my, so my software business, you know, $67 a month, it's really not a lot of money. I almost just spent $60 on a cigar and a beer. Okay, it's halfway there, you know? But what I'm trying to say is, I have this, I wanna call, I'm not gonna call it cheap, but not as pricey product that people pay monthly for. And what I specifically try to do is so that, because every time they pay for this $67 membership fee, they, I have to resell them in their mind. So based upon past experiences, that product has to be providing them with enough value for them to feel as though it's worth paying the $67 monthly membership fee every single month. So I try to state that I try to add so much value, pack so much value that realistically it's not worth $67, it's worth 10X that, it's worth $670 a month. But I pack so much value in there and make it impossible for them to say no, which is why that trick of saying, somebody asks you something, you're on the phone with somebody trying to sell somebody something and you say yes and it makes your answer even better. It adds more value to their answer. They're expecting a certain answer. I mean, they're expecting you to probably say yes. Because they know you, they want to get the sale, you know? But if you're there, <clears throat> and they're expecting a certain something, say yes and, because you're able to satisfy the question and add value. Second tip. Now, this is a good one. Second tip, so pay attention, okay? First one's yes and. Second one is all about the way you structure the deal, okay? 
obviously at first, what I always try to do is I try to make some light conversation, you know, make them happy, make them laugh a little in the very beginning, because that's just me. That's just the way I roll, okay? But then when you're actually structuring this deal, what I've really found that works phenomenally is to have multiple price points. Because there's, let's say you're going to the movie theater, you know, you got a small, medium, large, excuse me, popcorn. Small, cheapest, medium, let's say small is like five bucks. Let's say medium is like six bucks. Let's say large is $10, okay? They're probably gonna buy the medium one because it's closer to the small. Whereas if you put that medium price at like eight bucks, they're probably gonna buy the larger package. It's so where you structure it. And what I found is that by having multiple price points, by having multiple price points, you're able, and giving these people options on what to pay, typically it's easier to get them to buy something. Let me give you an example, a perfect example of this morning when I was uh, selling something, selling somebody on a credit repair marketing course. What I did, like I said, light Harley, made them laugh at the very beginning, get them to know me and stuff. They can see like I'm an intelligent person that actually knows what the fuck I'm talking about. And what I did was like, listen, I, got, I, got, I think I know what you need. I have this consulting program that's pretty much just gonna be one step ahead of you, giving you homework, checklists, all that nine yards of saying, this is what you gotta do next. And if you accomplish that beforehand, what I'm gonna do is you shoot me a text and I'll give you even more work to do. All for the same, all trying to get you the point of setting up the foundations of your social media so that you attract customers rather than having to go and try to get those leads. And I'm gonna teach you, yes, and I'm gonna set up your CRM. I'm gonna give you a snapshot and go high level. That's gonna set up your CRM for you to onboard clients literally while you sleep. And all that is gonna be for the small price of like 10 bands for the month. And what I'm, what you're gonna get with that is you're gonna get obviously the CRM, the course, and you're gonna get consulting with me at least once a week for two hours a week. Meaning you're gonna get four, four times a month, two hours, eight hours with me, and it's gonna be 10 bands. Now, what this guy immediately says, like, whew. I mean, I always try to go high because there's always that one person that just wants to buy the most expensive shit you have, the best shit you have. You always need to get that one person. It's like, oh, one of the reasons why I ha recommend having multiple different pricing. But what I really recommend is, but the reason why I say having multiple different pricing is what that guy said when I told him that 10 bands is like, eh, let me think about it. And everybody knows what's gonna happen when somebody says, let me think about it. Typically, they're not really gonna think about it and they're gonna just leave and not really talk to you again. So what I did is I followed up with that. I was like, all right, I understand price might be an issue for you. Let me tell you this. That consulting, that entire consulting program is no different than my actual, my, my medium tier package, my alpha package, my credit card alpha package, which pretty much is the course, the, the course that's gonna teach you how to do social media, paid ads, uh, set up your social media foundations, organic marketing, blah, 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 and give you the CRM. The only thing it's, that's different from that and the actual consulting, the coaching program, is that the coaching program adds accountability, whereas I'm there holding your hand and making sure shit gets done. Whereas if you purchase, if you sign up for this, the, the, the course and the actual snapshot, it's only gonna cost you $9.97. And whenever I tell them the price, I always get quiet. All right, that's my thing. I'm always quiet and I listen to see either a rebuttal or whatever they want to do. My boy was like, after hearing that 10 bands and me going to 997, the only thing being different was the accountability. He had enough confidence in himself. Like, yo, I got this shit. I know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be one of those people that take courses and just don't read it. He followed up after I was quiet and I told him the 997 price. He's like, all right, how do I pay? <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that it's amazing. It's fantastic to have multiple price points. And I highly recommend, if you don't already have that in your business, do it today. And you're gonna find, you're gonna find some people buying the most pricey shit. You're gonna find people buying the most cheapest shit. You're gonna find people buying the medium shit, but it's really gonna surprise you when you get that first sale of like a high ticket offer. There's just always that one person that's going to buy it. And it might be more than one person, I don't know. <clears throat> but pretty much to recap this message, so you can understand, is that the first one is yes and. Whenever somebody asks you a question, like stop saying no. Somebody, one of my mentors actually went over this about when I was kind of like starting up my couple of businesses back in college when I, before I dropped out of college, was that never say no. Because you're gonna find out the more you say no, the more opportunities are gonna close on you. Whereas if you're saying yes, 
even if you don't know how to do it, <clears throat> you're gonna be like, <clears throat> let's say somebody wants you to do a certain project, but you don't know how to do this project. You're gonna be like, yes, and I'm gonna hire a, a, an assistant to help me make the graphic designs, and it's going to take me around three months or something like that, I don't know. But what I'm trying to say, the first rule of thumb is yes, and provide value. Second rule of thumb is to have multiple price points and structure your deals so that when you're telling them about the prices, you tell them the highest price first so they can wow them with this crazy massive price because that automatically psycholo psychologically adds tremendous amount of value. If they see a big fucking number, they're like, damn, that must be worth $10,000. I must get tenfold back if I'm paying this dude 10,000. Like, if I'm paying this dude 10,000, he's gotta make me at least 100,000. Structure the deal so that you say the highest ticket product first, then the low, lower packages right after that. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope this helped. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, you know, your boy always got your back. Peace out, guys. See you at the top.